Hello class, welcome back. I am Mr. Sutton and today we're going to be continuing talking about rational exponents. This time we're going to be solving equations with rational exponents. So like these examples we have down here. First, we have some steps on how to solve rational exponents. The first thing we want to do is to isolate the variable. This will look very similar to how we've solved equations before. Then we want to raise both sides of the equation by the power that is the reciprocal of the given exponent. Remember the reciprocal is when we inverse the fraction. So if I have two thirds, the reciprocal is three halves and so we just inverse we just inverse the fraction there and then the last step is to evaluate the numerical side of the equation so we'll end up with some number raised to a rational exponent on one side we just need to evaluate what that is like we did in the last scale so let's go ahead and take a look at this first example negative 48 equals negative 2x and x is being raised to the 3 over 2 power that's a 3 over 2 plus 6 so first we need to isolate the variable we just want this x to the 3 halves on one side of the equation so we're going to need to subtract 6 on both sides and then divide by negative 2 i'm going to go ahead and do that now you should do that as well so this is what I got. I subtracted 6 on both sides. Negative 48 minus 6 is a negative 54. And then I divided both sides by negative 2. Negative 54 divided by negative 2 is 27. So I have my variable isolated. I just need to get rid of this exponent. So I need to raise both sides to the power that is the reciprocal. So I need to raise, raise both sides to the 2 thirds power. I'm going to go ahead and set that up. So that is going to look like this. I have 27 raised to the 2 thirds power, and then x to the 3 halves is being raised to the 2 thirds power. Now, the reason we do this is because now over here on the right side, I have this 3 halves, and that's being raised to the 2 thirds. Remember, when we have an exponent raised to another exponent, we multiply those exponents together. 3 halves times 2 thirds is just 1. We'll end up with 6 over 6, which is 1. So really, we will just have x raised to the first power on the other side, which is just x. So that's how we get x by itself. So the next step is to figure out what 27 to the 2 thirds power is. And remember from last lesson, we did that by writing these in radical form. So I'm going to go ahead and write this in radical form like that, where I bring this to 3 into this index of the radical, and I just have 27 squared underneath the radical. So we can do these in either order. We can either square 27 and then take the third root, or we take the third root of 27 and then square that. I think we should take the third root first. The third root of 27 is, is 3, so we'll have 3, and that's being squared. 3 squared is 9, and I'm going to go ahead and write this as x equals 3 squared is 9. So that is how we, that is how we solve equations with rational exponents. We're going to look at some more examples just like that. Again, for example number 2, we want to isolate this n to the 1 half first, so we'll need to add 8 on both sides and divide by negative 4. I'm going to go ahead and do that now. So first I added 8 on both sides. Negative 4 plus 8 is negative 36. And then I divided both sides by negative 4. Negative 36 divided by negative 4 is 9. So now I have n to the 1 half power equals 9. So to get rid of this 1 half, I need to raise both sides to reciprocal of 1 half. So if I inverse this fraction, I will just get a 2 over 1, which is 2. So I'm going to go ahead and raise both sides of this to the second power. I'm going to set that up over here. 
So I have 9 squared equals, and then n to the 1 half power to the second power. Again, these exponents are going to cancel each other out. That is why we set it up this way. So we just need to determine what 9 squared is, which hopefully we know is 81. Again, the exponents cancel each other out. So I'm just going to rewrite this as n equals 81. And that is our final answer for that. Okay. Let's go ahead, take a look at example number three. Again, we need to isolate this negative n to three halves. Um, so we need to subtract six to the other side, and we should probably go ahead and divide away that negative as well. So we'll just have n to the three halves. I'm going to do that right now. So I subtracted 6 on both sides, negative 723 minus 6 is a negative 729. And then I divided both sides by negative 1 to get rid of this negative out in front. So negative 729 divided by negative 1 is positive 729. So now we just need to get rid of this 3 halves exponent. So I need to raise both sides by 2 thirds. 2 thirds is the reciprocal of 3 halves. So I'm going to go ahead and set that up over here now. Again, on the right side, our exponents are going to cancel each other out, 3 halves uh, as an exponent, and then that being raised to, to the 2 thirds. We multiply these exponents together. 3 halves times 2 thirds is just 1. On the left side, we should go ahead and write this in radical form. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Probably best to cube root this first, or third root this. Um, the cube root of 729 is 9. So really, we just have 9 squared equals n. Once again, 9 squared is 81. So we end up with the same answer here that we did on the last one. n equals 81. Okay. We have... One more example here before we get to the u tries. Here we have 1 plus x is raised to the 1 fourth power equals 4. First thing we want to do is get this x to the 1 fourth power by itself. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. So we have x to the 1 fourth power equals 3. Now all we need to do is get rid of this 1 fourth. So to do that, we need to raise both sides to the fourth power. Four is the reciprocal of one fourth. So I'm going to set that up over here. So I raised both sides to the fourth power. So x to the one fourth to the fourth power. When I multiply these exponents together, I'll just get x to the first power. And then on the right side, we have three to the fourth power. No need to write anything in radical form over here. We can just take 3 to the 4th power, uh, so of x equals, so we can put this in the calculator, it's 3 times 3 times 3 times 3, which is 81. Again, so we ended up getting 81 for the last three answers, which is kind of interesting, but now we want to go ahead and try the u tries. Uh, we just have one u try problem, there's two parts to it. So I'll go ahead and solve both of these equations. Pause the video. I will give you um, a chance to pause the video. Try these on your own and then you can check your answer. So then try these now. And here are the answers for the u try problems. So again, we need to isolate the variable first. So I added two on both sides. 160 plus 2 is 162. Then we need to divide by 2 on both sides. 162 divided by 2 gives me 81. Then I have just x to the 2 thirds power. So to get rid of this 2 thirds exponent, I need to raise both sides to the 3 halves power. So then these exponents cancel each other out. This 81 to the 3 halves power I wrote in radical form. So then we can see I need to square root 81 and raise that to the third power. The square root of 81 is 9. And I have 9 to the third power, which is 729. So x equals 729. Same process down here. We need to get this x to the 3 fifths by itself. 
add eight on both sides. So I get 108 divided by four, 27. Now I have x to the three-fifths power by itself. To get rid of that three-fifths exponent, I need to raise both sides to the five-thirds power. So 27 to the five-thirds, I wrote in radical form. The cube root of 27 is three, and then three to the fifth power is 243. So that is what I got for x. For part B, if you have questions on this lesson, please come to mine or Ms. Claywell's or Ms. Parsons' office hours. I hope you all are doing well, staying safe, staying healthy. Have a good day.